welcome to my channel, Fit with Tip 100. The, the steps I took to lose 130 pounds. Three secrets that I use to pay off $100,000 in student loan debt. This topic is definitely near and dear to my heart. Out here on the field, at the Texas game, how amazing is that? What's up, my Fit Fam? Thanks again for tuning in to another segment of Fit with Tip 100, your one stop shop for everything fit, from being fit in your finances, fit inside your body, and fit in your thoughts. One second. <laughs> Tiffany Chanel here, and I appreciate you for tuning in to this video. Today's topic is about being fit inside your body. Now, I have used several different apps for my fitness journey, one being Fitness Pal. But these other apps I learned about um, a while ago, and I thought, why not just share this with my Fit Fam? The names of these apps are called Carb Manager and zero. Now Carb Manager does just that. It helps you manage your carb intake. So I had been doing keto for a while and one thing that I noticed that was really challenging was calculating 
my macros. And so I begin using Carb Manager to help me do that. And then also I use the Zero app. As I mentioned in my juice fasting video, um, I do fast and one of the fasts that I do other than juicing is intermittent fasting. And so intermittent fasting allows me to take a break from eating and that way my eating window is a smaller window so that I'm not consuming too many calories. But at any rate, the Zero app helps me with managing my time on how long have I been fasting, how long have I been feasting. And for some people it's not a big deal like they could you could probably set your your phone to remind you it's time to eat or you probably just know when it's time to eat. Um, but for me, I like the app because you can also see that so many other people using that app are fasting and it almost makes you feel like you're not alone when you know you just want to go and grab something to eat but you know you should be fasting. And if you have any questions about these apps, just post it down in the comment section below. And if I know the answer, I will give it to you. All right, stay tuned for the demo of these apps. I actually began intermittent fasting a while ago, and then I, I realized, you know, maybe I could use a little extra help, and that's what this app is doing for me. Now, please keep in mind there are plenty of other intermittent fasting and keto related apps that you can find, but these are the ones that worked well for me. So I'll start with the intermittent fasting app. It's called Zero. Okay, now with this app, I really, it, it's just to the point. Here on the, the timer portion of the, the app, it is showing the type of, well, first it's showing the number of people that are currently fasting. And I don't know about you, but that's really encouraging to me to know that there are other people out there fasting as well as myself. And so um, I also like the option to, and some of the other apps I noticed don't have as many options. I like the option to be able to select what my fast goal is. As you can see here on the screen, there are plenty of different options for you to select and you can even customize your uh, fasting goal. I normally stay within the 16-8, 18-6, or 24 intermittent fasting window, mostly within the 16-8 and it's been working for me. Next, you can see here is a timer that tells you how many hours, minutes, and seconds you have uh, during your um, fasting window. Once you have reached your 16 hours or whatever your time frame is of fasting, you can then select end your fast. And now you've begun your feasting window. Well, I... Um, Sometimes I'll mess up and forget to end my fast and even after you end it, you can still go back and select um, edit. So let's just try it here. End fast. It asks you, you know, how do you feel? Was it hard? Great. You can even take notes here and look back on your notes. And again, here is where you can edit when you started your fast and when you ended your fast. All right, and next thing, um, we talked about the different fasts. You can also select them here um, on the fast menu. Then there's a history menu that shows you the number of completed tasks, fasts, excuse me, the average fast you're on. As I mentioned, I'm on the 16-8. Um, let's see, the longest fast you've done, so I have fasted for 25 hours, and then your current weight. I actually have lost weight since then, so I need to update that. So, um, you can see here that there's a history of your different fasts that you've been on, and I think it keeps a history, it looks like, of the past seven days. You can open this window 
a little bit more and view more of your history, actually all of your history. It's pretty neat. Minimize that. And then it tells you if you reached your goal or didn't reach your goal. There are some errors here that I noticed like July 29th. I fasted for 16 hours. For some reason, it's giving me 16 fasts and then an eight hour fast of not reaching my goal. That's an error and it could be user error on my part. Um, I don't know, but I noticed that I didn't see a way where I could delete that. So I didn't like that. I think you should be able to delete certain things if you notice an error. You can weigh in. And again, I am going to have to update that. And then this is neat. They give you different badges for different goals that you've reached. I fasted 20, 25 times, and so I got a badge for that. I went on a, a 10 fast streak where I met my goal 10 times um, all together. And so I got a badge for that. Even got a badge for my first fast. So this is just a way to encourage people to keep going. And then there is, let me see, did I skip something? Okay, your journey. It tells you, um, it's just another view of how you did along with your, your weight. Just instead of this being a history of your fast, this is like a history of your entire fasting journey. Your weight, your, your different goals that you reached, the type of fast that you've been on. And then there's a learning portion of the menu where you can look at different articles that are important to you. Can fasting prevent or aid in strokes? Um, nutrition Q&A. Um, fasting is not for everyone in different videos as well. So um, I like this app. Um, this is not a sponsored video. It's just something that I found useful and maybe it can be useful for you. Now into the, I call it the keto friendly app. It's really carb manager. As you can see, I like several uh, fitness apps, RunKeeper, MyFitnessPal, but I noticed MyFitnessPal, I have to really edit the menu and um, it just to me isn't keto friendly type app. It's, it focuses on calories and what I like about Carb Manager is that it focuses on whatever your goal is. And so let's get into that app. So you notice that what loads up is your current day. So let me go into where I would normally go when I um, install this app. I would go to settings. And there's different settings. I want to track my net carbs. Um, when I first started with this app, it gave me a choice of the type of diet program that I wanted to be on. And I mean, it had so many different options. So it gave me all of these different options of the type of diet program I wanted to be on. It's, it asked me, did I want to be on keto? Did I want to be on a low fat program? Did I want to be on a high protein program? Um, did I want to be on, there, there were several different, it's probably more than 10 at least. Um, in some programs I had never even heard of before, that other people had mentioned to me and then I noticed it in this app. I was really impressed. So of course I selected the keto program. Now again, you can determine what you want to track. Do you want to track net carbs, total carbs, and then there's even diabetes carbs. I track my net carbs. I track all my macros, calories. I decided not to um, deduct the calories that I can't eat when I exercise. I feel like exercising is just an added bonus and I want to keep everything as is so that I just make sure I'm not overeating. There are um, options for you to connect to your Fitbit, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing is you will have to um, sign up for premium, I believe, in order to use some of these options, including connecting with your Fitbit. Now, my fitness pal was pretty cool because you can connect with your Fitbit without paying for premium package, but here you would have to pay for premium. And let me just see what happens when I select on. Yep, 
Carb Manager Premium. And so it tells you for one year, I mean, it's not a lot of money, $40, $39.99, about $40 for one year. It's not bad. Um, but, you know, I prefer not to pay. <laughs> Go to my profile. All right. This start weight was not my start weight when I first started losing weight. My start weight was about 300 pounds. This start weight was me trying to kick off another weight loss goal. Because I, you know, even after losing 300, even after losing 130 pounds, I then gained back, as you could see, 27 of those pounds <laughs> over time. So now my goal is to get down, back down to the weight that I had lost, which was the 170. And I've got to update that current weight because that is wrong. I've lost more weight since then. Yay. All right. So here we have your macros calculator. Yeah, I've always felt like keto was a bit complicated for me. Other people seem to do really well with it, not myself. So what I did is using this app helps me keep up with everything. Um, you know, it walks you through. Let's start by setting your calorie goal. And so I... If you, if you want to have a lower deficit, let's say you want to gain weight because you want to build muscle. It tells you how many calories you should be eating. And um, we predict that this is how much you'll gain per month. And next, let's calculate your macronutrient goal. So I'm not trying to gain. I'm trying to lose. Now, if you want to maintain, they have options for that. This is what you would do to maintain your weight. Um, so this is how many calories you take in, so on and so forth. And it even gives you your macro nutrients. But I'm going to go to how, how much can I lose? The most amount of weight I can lose. And I can assure you I am losing way more than this. And it hasn't even been a month. So I'll talk more about that in another video. And so it calculates my macronutrients. Oh, this is what I mentioned earlier. So if you select this drop down, let me go back so you didn't miss that. Go back to my macros. This is where I am, my macronutrient goals. There's the carbs, protein, fat ratio for keto, which is 5% net carbs, 25% protein and 70% fat on the keto program. If I wanna change what program I'm on, let's say I want to get on a, let's say I wanna get on a high protein plan. As you can see, this has changed my, my macronutrients percentage. Now, let's say I wanna get on a high carb, low fat. Now you can see the high carb, the low fat, um, at 35%. So you can switch these how you'd like. And then there's custom, which is so awesome. I love being able to customize things for my needs. But because I'm on keto, I just select keto. And then you click on apply my macros. You can select the days you want your macros applied. I select every day. There's an advanced option. Um, ease into my diet. So if you want to start off slowly, maybe maybe it's too much of a shock for your body to completely change your diet program. It allows you to ease into it. I didn't. I just started right away, which caused the keto flu. And I'll talk about how I overcame the keto flu in another video. Now, smart macros, I really like. I noticed that for about a week or so, I wasn't losing any weight. And I was, what's going on? Well, I didn't have smart macros turned on. So I said, okay, let me turn it on. Of course, you'd have to pay for that. So <laughs> what smart macros does is, as it says, it automatically adjusts your macro goals as your weight changes. That is great because it helps you keep track of what your new macro goals are. So once I went in and adjusted... Um, entered in my my weight my macros changed a bit and then I started losing weight again so pay attention to that as you lose weight because you will lose weight on keto and intermittent fasting make sure you're adjusting your macros accordingly then there's diet goals talks about your macronutrients your energy goals it's just telling you to enter your daily goals here and then health goals 
you can your exercise i think if you can add it for free but again if you want to link to your fitbit that costs money you have to get the premium package you can enter your measurements i believe uh let's see nope you would have to get premium so this actually tells you your net carbs in the past last seven days you can change this the last 30 days and so on and so forth so and then there's the news feed you can add friends and family it doesn't look like you have to pay to do that so that's great you can enter into challenges um, join different groups I haven't done any of these join forums so I guess it's pretty similar to my fitness pal but at the same time it will cater to your diet needs and specifically it caters to keto go back to my daily log and show you how to actually log in your food so since I intermittent fast I don't really have breakfast sometimes I'll have coffee um, with like sugar-free syrups and the MCT oil. Um, however, today I did not, or yesterday rather, I did not. And so it shows me here that my, kind of gives you a breakdown of my net carbs, my total carbs, my amount of fiber, fat. I didn't quite meet my fat goal, but I was pretty close. Protein, I went slightly over. Um, I, you don't want to go over protein too much or your, your net carbs too much because you want to remain in ketosis. And then calories, I went over a little bit, but I was running around today. I'm pretty sure I, bu I burned most of what I went over. So as you can see here, I met my 15 of 15 net carbs. Yeah, I can be under if I want. Um, I try not to go over. It doesn't always happen that way, and that's okay give myself grace and then it shows you the food that I ate so I actually had salmon patties for for lunch and then goat cheese stuffed burgers for dinner and then I had a snack um, an Atkins brownie bar right and what you can do here is I clicked on the three dot ellipsis right here by lunch and then you have different options you can add notes you can actually copy this lunch and paste it to another day I do that a lot just so that I don't have to keep entering everything you can delete the whole meal you can reorder things um, but I just typically use the add foods option and then here are a lot of the foods that I've added in the past and so it allows you to look at what you've recently added or viewed and if it's not there you can search for something let's say I had green beans so it shows you here there's the raw green beans there's the cooked let's go with cooked it shows you the three grams of net carbs and then it lets you know is it keto friendly keto grade a means it's very keto friendly it has a little help option to, to tell you a little bit more about that and um, and then it tells you what your net carbs, your fat, your protein, your your calories. And as you can see, if I eat green beans, I'm going to go over um, because I pretty much met m my goal. Um, and then you can select if you did you have a cup, did you have a tablespoon, that sort of thing gives you different options and um, the amount that you had, maybe three eighths cup, one half cup, maybe you had two and a half cups maybe you just had two so just different options here all right I will X out of there because I don't want to want to add it but that was just for the purposes of showing you and yeah you can do the same thing for dinner and your snacks and you can enter notes if you'd like so you can go back and look at that um, let's see in depth now it gives you a breakdown of your week by carbs, by macros, your food. You can enter an amount, amount of water that you had. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. As you can see, I didn't yesterday. And then this is where I was talking about. You can enter the number of steps you took. Now, one thing I really liked about this app is, let's say you're working with a trainer or you're working with a friend, you wanna encourage each other, or someone just wants a recipe. 
you can actually export your what you ate. I want to share the entire plan. Message sent. It takes a few minutes, I've noticed, when you want to pull up what you've sent. But let's, here it is. So there's your card manager. So please do not be a stranger. Follow me at Fit with Tip 100 on Instagram and on Facebook. And until next time, I will see you in my next upload. Bye.